Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Tech Tip. My name is Hannah from Structsoft Solutions, and today we're going to talk about how to override your cripples using MWF. There are several ways that you can override your cripples. For today, we're going to focus on wood. You'll notice that I've created a wall with a window opening here. I'm just going to frame this real quick. I'm going to use a default template. I'm just going to go to my project. I'm just going to use the wood uh, template for now. I'm going to set it as active, close it, and create. So this is what uh, MWF template has already pre-created. These are the cripples. So let's say that I wanted to create some changes for these cripples. We're going to talk about several ways that we can do this today. Before we start making any changes here, I just want to point out something. So I'm going to use the uh, dimension command just to check the spacing here. And you'll notice that the spacing is the same uh, when you compare the cripples to the, the spacing of the rest of the panels. And what we want to do is we want to actually change the spacing for these cripples. So the first method that we're going to use is we're going to use edit structural members. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select one member here. I'm going to go to MWF uh, menu. I'm going to click on properties. I'm going to get this menu. I will go to the miscellaneous option here. And I'm going to go to structural members and click on edit. I'm going to get this window. I'm going to make sure that this is set as a normal wall, not a chase, not a chase wall. Uh, I need to make sure that I check uh, restarted openings and I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to check restart at last king. I'm going to click on enable space overrides and I'm going to give this a one foot spacing. I'm going to click on OK. Let's check. So I'm just going to check the dimension. You'll notice that this is now one foot. And this one here, it's still one foot four inches. And that was the first way to override your cripples. So the second method I'm going to use is edits tools. You'll find edit tools right here. And we're going to use edit one. But before we use these tools, we're going to actually have to make some manual changes here. I've quickly jumped into the section view here. You can also use an elevation view. I'm going to do two things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these members just using the delete option on my keyboard. I selected them and I deleted them. And what I want to do is I would like to make these centered here. To do this, I'm going to use the align command. I'm going to click these from the center here. And do you see this? This is the equal sign. I'm going to click on it, and this just became equal. I'm going to do this step here again. And there you go. So I've made these manual changes here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select any one of these members here. And now what I have to do is go to Edit. And I'm going to go to edits one, and this will save the changes that I have made to the panel. So that when I regenerate this panel, you'll notice that the changes that I have made have been saved. Another option you can use, if you select these, like I'm doing, you can go to edits and use move generated number. I'm just going to enter two inches and click on OK. Another option to try. I'm going to select these numbers. I'm going to go to edits. I'm going to delete these numbers and these numbers.
And if I click on Regenerate, you'll notice that this change has been saved. Let's select these members here and go to Edits. And this time, let's try Modify Generated. Let's make a six inch change to the running offset and click on OK. And then we will regenerate. You'll notice that the change has been applied to the cripple but has not been applied to this member. And that's it for today's tech tip on how to manually override your cripples. We hope you enjoyed it and see you next week.